My name is Judd Tully with Art and Auction Magazine, and this is Brooke Lampley, the head of Christie's Impressionist Modern Department in New York, and we're at the preview of the upcoming Impressionist Modern sale. And so we're looking at a painting from 1929. Can you tell us a little bit about it? This is the top lot of our sale. It's estimated at 15 to 25 million dollars. You look at this work today and you can see how incredibly fresh it looks, even in the context mm. of the remarkable contemporary works that we have on offer. This is the summit of Mondrian's work. This is as good a Mondrian as you're ever going to find available to the market. So now we're looking at a Constantine Brancusi, a plaster as opposed to a marble or a bronze. Uh, the Sleeping Muse One, which this is, is the first time um, that he really achieved an abstracted version of the subject that actually beautifully balances some naturalism, like the details in the hair, um, with a very refined and stark representation of the face. This is a work that was painted by Monet in 1885, the year after he first moved to Giverny, which would of course become uh, a fertile site of inspiration for him for the rest of his career. This is a day, uh, a leisurely afternoon, where he and Alice um, took their three youngest children uh, from home for a picnic. The fact that it perfectly synthesizes Monet's early Impressionist landscape work uh, with some of the later series uh, and more abstracted uh, gestural work that he would do later makes it very rich with connotations. And where in the realm, in the estimate realm, is this in terms of expectations? This is uh, being estimated at 12 to 18 million dollars. So Brooke, in terms of an object, I mean for me this is like an amazing thing, this Duchamp valise with these replicas and reproductions of his work. Can you give us a little background about it? So in the 40s, uh, Duchamp being the radical conceptual artist who he was uh, and the forebear of all of that art that would later be inspired by him, um, he created these uh, that were essentially an archive of his most important body of work. And it's really amazing to look at. It's an encyclopedic reproduction of the highlights of his career. The leading yeah. collection of our sales this season mm -hmm. and that we're thrilled to be featuring is the collection of John Whitehead, uh, who was famously chairman of Goldman Sachs, um, but also a great statesman. But he happened to also be um, an avid and devoted collector of Impressionist and modern art with a really sharp eye. Uh, you see it in, throughout the collection. Um, they're outstanding examples by a range of artists, not necessarily the most obvious choices, but really connoisseurs' choices. Um, the two greatest domiers that we've seen in a long time. A uh, wonderful Seurat work on paper, um, an outstanding Morisot, um, a masterpiece Maurice Denis. Uh, and one of the distinct highlights um, is this Modigliani from 1916, a portrait of Beatrice Hastings, one of his two most famous paramours. And where is this in the estimate? Range. This is estimated at seven to ten million dollars. Uh, we've seen Modigliani repeatedly uh, be one of the most sought-after artists at auction recently. Uh, we've seen global interest in the artist. His works are extremely rare because his career was so, and his life was so incredibly short-lived, uh, and people are in love with the romance of that story as well as his art. Uh, so we're also expecting good interest in this work, uh, and it is one of the highlights of the Whitehead collection, which itself has attracted a lot of interest.